What's going on friends? My name is Melinda Kathleen Reese and with the Gradually Watermelon shirts back out, I wanted to take a second to make a really special video about Gradually Watermelon, how it started as a ridiculous meme, and has become a way to support a really awesome charity. Why Hunger is fighting to end hunger all over the world and especially here in the United States. And one of the ways in which they do so is through the arts. They have a coalition called Artists Against Hunger and Poverty, of which I am a member, and we collaborate with them to help tell their story. Arts and activism work so beautifully together and Why Hunger just gets that and they are just so extraordinary to work with. But instead of me just talking at you, why don't we meet some of the amazing people behind the organization? We will meet Hilary Zuckerberg, the director of Artists Against Hunger and Poverty, as well as another artist partner and board member, Tom Chapin. Tom is a Grammy Award winning singer-songwriter and his late brother, Harry Chapin, co-founded Why Hunger. Stick around to the end to find out how you can get involved. Let's go! Two, three. This pretty planet spinning through space You're a garden, you're a harbor, you're a holy place Why Hunger was founded in 1975 by musician and activist Harry Chapin and radio DJ Bill Ayers, who's still involved with the organization today. And Harry's vision was that in a world that could clearly feed itself, no one should go hungry. Now Why Hunger is really focused on ending hunger and poverty by supporting grassroots organizations and grassroots movements around the idea that everyone has a right to food and not just any type of food, but that everyone really should have a right to fresh, nutritious food. Um, and that uh, the old school charitable model of just feeding people needs to sort of be upgraded, shall we say, and we really need to be looking at root causes and why we're in this situation and why it's continuing to even get worse. Golden sun going down, gentle blue giant spin us around, all through the night, save till the morning light. You know what, you know what a song is? A container. How so? When you're singing it, whoever is within distance, here you have his camera, but you and I, the, the, the camera people here, uh, are all in the same place. Mm -hmm. If you're in a room, a club with 200 people, they're all in the same place. Mm -hmm. 10,000 people, you're all in the same place. It's a rare thing these days when it's face to screen instead of face to face. Mm -hmm. uh, you feel connected. Yeah to things you most care about. Yes. And in a sense, what you're really looking for in, in your life and in, in your world is connection. Mm -hmm. And we forget how, how important that is. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, and and, and uh, this whole, the whole Survivor series on TV is such bogus. <laughs> Nobody survives without help, right. without each other. Mm -hmm. And what you really want is, this, is, a, is a world that, that we, we can connect, yeah. and I can learn from you, learn from me. Together we can do this, mm -hmm. together. That's what my brother Harry understood so well mm -hmm. from the time I was a kid. Harry was always about, we can do this. Mm. Okay, so let's talk yes. about the Hunger Hotline. Basically, we have a database of over 22,000 organizations, mostly emergency food providers. So those are food banks, food pantries, soup kitchens, um, that people can access by calling 1-800-5-HUNGRY. You can text your zip code to that phone number as well, and you'll get information via text. And then you can go to whyhunger.org slash find food. And um, similarly, that if you were on the phone, there's a couple questions that get asked online, and then it'll show you all the local um, you know, organizations that are in your, in your area where you can go to get food. That's awesome. That's yeah. awesome. We'll, we'll put those links right here, and it'll be beautiful. <laughs> there we go. Your outlook on music has been to make music that will outgrow you and will grow up. And, and where does that come from? Because there's plenty of musicians that will write songs for the sake of singing them. We never said this in so many words, but it was about ideas. Every song had to have a good idea. You know, just the idea that a musician back in 1975 said, you know what, there's this there's this issue going on in this world and I need to do something about it, that's unbelievable. 
Right now, Why Hunger is in the middle of their summer meals campaign. Learning and good nutrition should not stop when school lets out. However, summer in America means hunger spikes for over 30 million kids who rely on meals at school throughout the week. But you can help make a difference. You can support Why Hunger's Summer Meals for Kids Rock campaign to help connect kids in need with nutritious meals all summer long. Help spread the word about how kids can get the food they need to learn and grow, get involved, and fight childhood hunger at whyhunger.org slash summer meals. Be sure to utilize any and all of the resources down in the description if you or someone in your community needs that support. Thank you so much, not just for watching, but for putting so much energy and love into this silly little series and making memes and hopefully making the world a better place in the process. Thank you to Hillary and Tom for coming to the YouTube space to hang out, and also to my patrons for making my videos possible. I think that's it. I will see you guys next week. Bye! Mwah.